record this on the cloud. Oh, I'm recording now. Go ahead. Okay, we are beginning the April 20th Needham Commission on Disabilities meeting. Corrine is uh, not feeling well, so she will not be here. Uh, mm -hmm. That means a couple of the first items of business for the chairperson. I have to refer to Tatiana to see if you have anything. I did not attend the uh, online course, did you? Did anyone? I did not, but I know Corrine did. did she not. did um, attend the, uh, and this is the training that is uh, provided by the Office of Inspector General. Um, we talked about it at the last meeting. It's right, just right. A, a quick meeting about, uh, you know, serving in a boring commission and com or committee and what your responsibilities are. So they talk about, you know, the open law meeting and record keeping and all of that good stuff, which I'm sure that Corrine will update us on at the main meeting, but I know she did attend, so we'll, okay. we can just wait for her to give us an update on that. So we'll get that in May. Uh, the other item under chairpersons is the, um, uh, Needham, <laughs> I'm, I keep bl blanking on the NUAR, the Needham. Noari. What's the U? Um, <laughs> Needham United? United. Uh, against racial against injustice. How <laughs> do you want to give you the whole thing? <laughs> yeah. I'll spell yeah. it out in the minutes. <laughs> yeah. Um, Marine said she will report on that in May, unless anyone else has anything to say about it. Does anyone have any information about what's going on with them? Did anybody attend the April 12th meeting? Yeah. I didn't, I was working. Okay. So just to give you, uh, you know, a, a quick snapshot, um, the, um, the town has been working with a consultant um, who has been facilitating this Needham Unite um, Against Racism initiative. Um, there's been a, a report put together with recommendations for specific actions that will help Needham achieve his vision for racial equity. These recommendations are in the areas of housing, policy, and schools, town of Needham staff, town boards and committees, and the broader Needham community. Believe that um, Corrine was planning on attending that. Yeah. Um, but um, a number of guiding principles and uh, intentional practice uh, were uh, created by this group, by this Noari group, and they were adopted by the Needham Select Board on March 23rd of this year. Um, if anyone would like to review those, they are posted to the website, but I can also share um, the email from, uh, from the town manager's office. Um, I'm just gonna quickly read them, if that's okay. Right. Um, there are a number of them, but I'm just going to read the, um, the uh, equity statement from the town of Needham. We will work collaboratively and democratic, democratically toward a, towards a just, equitable, anti-racist community. We will work to identify and change current policies, procedures, practices, and cultural norms in Needham that prevent meaningful access to opportunities because of race. We will create opportunities for the community to confront unpleasant truths and seek solutions that always amplify values of racial equity. We will intentionally create spaces for respectful dialogue and difficult conversations towards racial amity. We will actively engage with those who feel the impact of racism most directly, seeking their input, guidance, and honoring the wisdom of their experience. And we will commit as individuals to be intentional in our efforts to learn and practice anti-bias and anti-racism, transforming our thinking, attitudes, and behavior. Like I said, this, um, this, vision, this vision statement, the guidance, and some of the uh, information related to Noari and his um, objectives can be found on the NIDA website. Um, and if you would like you know, me to directly send it to you, I can also do so. Great. Anything like that. Okay. Um, there is nothing else that falls under the chairperson's report. No correspondence from AAB. So they're a little bit behind on 
some of their letters, but we'll hear from them eventually. Uh, the minutes. Okay. You all should have received. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I will read them through now. Yes. Yeah. Sure. All right, this was the Needham Commission on Disabilities meeting, March 16th, 2021. It was a virtual Zoom meeting. Presents were Jeannie Martin, co-chair, Corinne Burke, co-chair, Carol Thomas, secretary, Tatiana Swanson, town liaison, hmm. Manny Iyer, member, Kelly Scolpinetti, police department liaison, Dale Wise, member, Debbie Heller, member. Absence, Julie Muse Fisher, school department liaison, Babs Moss, member. The guest speaker was Cindy Gonzalez, the town public information officer. Cindy has been with the town for a year and a half. Cindy th thanked the NCOD for the work we do. Prior to being the town's public information officer, she was a Needham resident. She has spent a significant amount of time dealing with pandemic communication challenges and town website and COVID information. She spent most of her career in communication. She works across all departments and divisions in the town. A lot of what she is tasked with doing is promoting the good work that is happening in town. Cindy's job is to share with the public in a multitude of ways. She thinks about the various ways that residents receive information and is tasked with outreach and communication to the public. In response to a question about social media platforms, she replied that the town has focused on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Separately, some departments have their own Facebook pages. Cindy tries to understand community priorities through these accounts. Facebook is probably the platform that is used the most. The town is trying to get more creative about Instagram and Twitter. There is a distinction between the town of Needham page and the community page, which is Needham MA. Another thing she is working on for launch soon is a town-wide newsletter that will go out both electronically and hard copy a couple of times per month. She is also working to update all the email lists and alerts. A suggestion was made to create a mailing list for the NCOD about resources and news specific to our mission. NCOD could also engage other local organizations and the community that support the same groups. Cindy welcomed us to reach out anytime and she also reminded us to share our news and updates. The co-chairperson's co report. ADA compliance update, Beth Israel Deaconess, 272 Chestnut Street, case is closed. The decision was dated 3-8-21. The board feels a complaint was adequately addressed. Sidewalks have been painted with a clear path. Accessible signage was installed at each space. Access aisles were painted. Van accessible spaces provided with appropriate access aisle. Van accessible sign was installed at the head of the van space. Photos were included. Perini Corporation resolved. Jeannie attended the, NCO, the MOD uh -huh. conference and got a lot of information on March 4th. Highlights were that a lot of groups presented how they are operating during the pandemic. They all said it was a struggle at first, but then found ways to offer all of their services and in some cases reached out more than they had before. Organizations learned a lot of things that worked that they will continue post pandemic, such as online resources. Jeannie walked through her notes at, that she shared with the NCOD via email earlier and reviewed the many resources available from the organizations represented. Jeannie received a letter from the Wilmington COD. They are starting a TV show called Access Abilities. They want to have a program where they can spotlight different disabilities and want to include people on their show. It airs on Comcast Channel 9 on Sundays at 6 p.m. The show highlights interesting people in everyday life who happen to have a disability. Review of the minutes of the February 16th meeting. Minutes approved as amended. Dale made a motion which was seconded by Babs Moss. Motion passed unanimously. ADA liaison report. Tatiana called CVS and talked to the night manager who confirmed that the letter was sent to the landlord. Tatiana reminded her that we sell signs and she said she would pass that along. Tatiana reminded everyone that the MOD is having a conference call on April 14th, level up to a quality webinar. Many topics will be discussed, including outdoor dining. The town put the tent back up in the common and outdoor dining should follow soon. And COD may be asked to provide input. The Massachusetts office Inspector General is offering a course on how to be a board member. The seminar will re review duties and responsibilities of a board member and key statutory requirements. This is taking place on Saturday from nine to 12. Updates. School department, no report since Julie was not in attendance. HP parking. Debbie offered to write a letter to De Bertucci's if that would be helpful. We agreed to wait for the AAB follow-up. Kelly found a booklet that lists the handicap spots uh, for MBTA and town municipal lots, last updated in August 2019. It also included on-street parking and will be updated this year. Kelly will give a copy to Tatiana. 
Lieutenant Kramer, who works nights, can provide an update on parking fines. Tatiana will also follow up. Diversity, nothing new to report. Upcoming events are listed on the website calendar. NCOD opening, we discussed the potential recommendations from current NCOD members. Also talked about doing a story for Needham Cable. Downtown streetscape, local emergency planning workshop. No downtown streetscapes meeting. Next LAPC meeting is on March 8th and the whole meeting was dedicated to National Guard support to civilian authorities. The Massachusetts National Guard is the oldest guard in the country. The US military is based on how the National Guard was established in the 1700s. The guard can be fully mobilized within 72 hours. Usually they start planning ahead of time so they can respond more quickly. There are 11 National Guard units in the state, slightly fewer than in the past. Natick is the closest National Guard unit to Needham. All the LEPCs know how to get in touch with them as needed. Downtown streetscapes, work will start on the town common this summer and they will try and save the trees by removing them and bringing them back after the construction is completed. The redesign plan will be an oval versus the current X shape. Other business. NCOD received a thank you note from Officer Harmon, which Tatiana read out loud. Tatiana will ask Cindy Gonzalez about promoting our open position via the town social media sites, planning for the next meeting of NCOD, April 20th, 2021, meeting adjourned 6.54 PM, respectfully submitted, Carol Thomas. Uh, one comment, you have Babs listed as absent. I, yep, I, I just took notes. And then you have, have her listed seconding the motion. <laughs> yeah, I took note of that as I was reading that. I was like, wait a minute. So, yep. Um, and you were. I, I, I had an appointment with the audiologist in Milford and I was running late and that's why I couldn't attend. Okay. Uh, last time. All right. But so I think I, I seconded the motion the month before. <laughs> all right. You know what? Maybe that's what it was. So I will correct that. Thank you. Yep. I, I, it's not a hard thing to second things, you know, so <laughs> yeah. likely I second it. <laughs> You were there in spirit, but yeah, I will fix that. Thank you. Yeah. No, no, bad. I think I saw you. <laughs> yeah, Manny's here too. Turn your, yeah. turn your video on, Manny. We can't see you. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I, Manny, I should talk to you about uh, my new hearing aid afterwards. Um, it's pretty oh. cool. Carol, okay, I let's don't... talk about that later. Yeah, we got okay. your bald head there, Manny. Yep. Carol, I don't think we tell you often enough what a good job you do on the minutes. Yes, oh, thank you. Very, thank you. very <laughs> thorough. There's so much good information there. All right. Well, I try my best. So thank no, you. No, I just wanted you to know we appreciate it because I know mm -hmm. it's not easy to do and you captured mm -hmm. a lot of information. All right. I thank actually you. revert to your minutes a few times. I'm like, hey, what did we talk about? What do I need to do? You know, so if you didn't do that, I'd be lost. All right. <laughs> anyway, good to know. I, 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 I moved that way step the minutes. Yeah. As All amended. In favor. Oh, we need a second. I second. Uh, All in favor. Favor. Second. She's and really good at that. All in All right. favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, moving on. Excellent. Um, Tatiana. Yeah, hi. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I figure I would give a give you guys an update on our parking fund amounts. Uh, you know, as you know, the handicap uh, parking fines are collected and put into a, an account that is reserved for the Needham Commission on Disabilities in case of um, grant requests and grant, um, uh, grant application submissions um, that, the, that then the NCOD decides upon and awards is needed. So as of last uh, month, our parking fund um, amount was $6,760.24. In the past, the NCOD has granted uh, grant awards in the um, in increase, you know, in the amount of five hundred up to you know the, our description, our discretion. Um, last Wednesday, April fourteen, the Massachusetts Office on Disability conducted the our um, the level up quarterly meeting, which was a virtual webinar. Um, I don't know if anyone had a chance to um, to attend. But it was very interesting because they talked about, um, uh, you know, outside dining, which was a, a, a well sought out um, topic uh, last year when all of these uh, restaurants are starting to offer, you know, sidewalk entertainment, sidewalk service. And so um, it was it was really, really uh, a good presentation. 
Um, of course, they uh, wanted to highlight that, um, you know, restaurant owners and owner associations uh, need to make sure that it is the same experience for all. And some of the things that they uh, wanted to, to bring, you know, to, to people awareness is that communication must be accessible for all um, and as well as access, right? So in the past, I know we've talked about making sure that there's enough clearance on the sidewalk for uh, people, you know, at least uh, 36 inches for people to to, tran to comfortably transit by, um, that there must be accessible routes, not only to the tables themselves, but also to the check-in points, to the exit, um, you know, points, to any common elements like the restroom, the bars, et cetera. If you are offering an, exp an outdoor experience for dining, you have to make sure that a wheelchair or a person with any kind of disability can can easily access those points as well as you know a, a patron without disabilities. Um, they talked about some of the things that, that you know you don't always think about, but for example, like the umbrellas. I never thought about this, but umbrellas, um, you know, that are lower than eighty inches off the ground cannot protrude into the accessible route, which never occurred to me, but that makes you know a lot of sense. Um, things like courts have to be covered up. They have to have like that, you know, those plastic strips. I don't know if you some, sometimes have seen them, but they cannot become a tripping hazard, which again are also things that you sometimes don't think about um, in these, you know, outdoor dining uh, 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 designs. Uh, grass is not accessible surface. I was actually asked a question recently when the town was looking to uh, put a second tent at the heights and they were wondering if, you know, if, we needed to, you know, make it make an accessible path, and no grass is not an accessible surface. So, uh, towns uh, and business owners have to keep that in mind when um, when coming up with these uh, outdoor um, entertainment areas or outdoor gathering areas. Um, they share the um, the slides. If anybody wants to um, take a look, I'm happy to, to share. But I did share it with uh, both uh, my economic uh, development manager for the town and also the office of the town manager, who are the two entities that most closely work with the business associations in town, the business owners in towns. I think it'll be a good guidance for them to provide um, more uh, tips and and um, and other assistance to. Um, to business owners as we go into the warm season where we're gonna see more of these outdoor dining restaurant options being open for patrons. Um, what else on the agenda? Let's see. Um, so I don't know if a lot of you follow the town of Needham on social media, but I did ask Cindy to promote our opening uh, in the commission and she uh, blasted it through social media, through Facebook. Um, I don't know if anybody uh, follows the town, but it was, um, she did promote it. Um, I, I did not go back to check how much traction that got, but it is another little thing that we can do to promote um, the opening uh, of the, you know, the member opening uh, in our, in our committee. Yeah. How old does the person have to be? I just was wondering if we could get, um, you know, um, is there an age requirement? They have to be 18, 21? I'm not sure. So. I'm gonna look on the website. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure. Does anyone know if there are any specific requirements to serve? Yeah. High school kid would be great if there was somebody. They That's sort of what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, they can get their their um, vision on how they see things too. That would that's a great idea. Yeah. Um. Andy was fairly young when he first joined us, wasn't he, Dale? Or was he 21 then? It's so long ago, I can't remember. What's this, Jeannie? How old was Andy when he joined us? Uh, Early 20s? I think, I think he was 18. He was in, I think he was still in high school. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. He was 18 or 19, I think, when he joined us. Okay. Yeah. I can it's reach out to the high school here. If you want, I can reach out to the high school, the community service officer, and see if they have any students with a disability that would like to join. Yeah, and it's a three-year commitment, right? So yeah. it would need to be somebody who would be continuing on after high school in the town, I suppose. Okay. Anyway, right. I do thought. think they need to be a resident of the town. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I don't know how that plays out. Would you, would you consider somebody from the Charles River Center? Is that a possibility?
Are they medium thought. resident? Yeah, it's a thought, but some of them are pretty high functioning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the opening well, has know, to be. I know that there's like, we have to have like a parent of a disabled child and we have to have a people with, isn't there a, a charter for that, Jimmy? Yeah. Well, a majority of the nine have to be disabled. Okay. And, and the what, parent... I thought they had to be disabled or the parent of a disabled child. Mm -hmm. I think the parent of the disabled is outside that five member majority. Okay. I think. Okay. Well, should we, thought. should we perhaps make a note to, to, I mean, and, and I appreciate um, um, Kelly um, uh, offering to um, contact the high school uh, resource officer, but maybe Julie could also help us. I mean, she's not here today, but maybe, you know, for me, we can like see yeah. if she can, you know, have uh, maybe maybe some of the parents in Needham, you know, has, she has a way to contact and promote this within the, the parents of um, mm -hmm. of anyone who, yeah. Go ahead, Bugs. Um, somebody from like, um, like uh, what do you call it? Wingate, uh, the elderly, population is I don't know if that's considered they're not necessarily considered disabled. Yeah. No. I hope not. I don't know. No. Some of them, you know, some of them are in wheelchairs. Some of them are, yes, but then so yes. But just being elderly is not yeah but you might find somebody there like that's in a wheelchair or very you know, true yeah or yeah who has a he hearing loss or yep. uh, has, who's legally uh blind yep or that's visually. a good thought does anyone then, here receive compass the uh, council on aging publication from the senior center yeah i do uh, I do. I do. Yeah, you do, because I don't know if they do advertisement there for open ah. positions, but that uh, that's an idea too. That's a great thought. Yeah. You know, I can I can ask the um the council aging director. Yeah, that that's actually a great place to post it, because mm -hmm. those, you know, a lot of those people are you know very act you know like to be active. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think in the past we could have we, we didn't have this much trouble trying to fill the position, but I think with COVID and people not frequenting uh, public spaces like that, and we might we might not be, you know, reaching our inter intended audience. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I'll I'll look into Compass for advertisement. But yeah, it was put into social media. As far as I know, I don't think anything came from that, but we'll keep trying. And then Jeannie had that wonderful list of resources that she got yeah. from, um, from the, the conference that she attended. And so um, I um, updated our website um, to include a link to that document, which I doctor a little bit just so that, you know, all of the resources were uh, clear for people. Um, and so that's on our website. So I think that's a good uh, way for us to share some of the resources with the, with the public. So if any, and, and I think we can keep adding to that, to that Word document. Um, as needed uh, for any other resources that you guys can think of or that you come upon and, and you know that will be good for the community. Uh, but some of the things that, that Jeannie share, they were really good resources and good things that I don't think, I mean, I've been in this, com in this commission for at least four years now and I wasn't aware of them. So, so really a good list of resources. And I, you know, if anybody has any other things that they would like to add or, or you know, or edit, um, just send them over to me and I'll continue to update the website. Great. Yeah, I'm thinking of the math. Um, um, MAPV, the Math Association for the Blind that both Elaine and I use their services. Uh, maybe yes. we could add that yeah, in uh, the resources. Let me just do it. I know there was something about let me just look right now. I'm going to go look on our website. <laughs> um, well, yeah. There were representatives from Perkins there, but not the um, not MIB. Me. I mean, on the list, it referred to per what Perkins has to offer. Yes, there's a long list of what Perkins offers, but I don't see MASB. Is it MASB? MAPV, M-A-B-V-I. Math -V -I. Okay. Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Manny, did you want to send me an email just so I yeah, can update definitely. that? That will be definitely. great. Not a problem. Awesome. Thank you. 
Okay. And that's all I have. Great. Um, Julie is not here, but she did ask me right after the last meeting if we had grant money because she said she knew of oh. some other some of her colleagues in the um, Needham schools that wanted to apply for a grant. And I said, you know, go for it. But we did not hear from them. So hopefully that will be coming soon. But apparently there are some ideas for um, ways to use our grant money from the schools. So hopefully we'll hear from them in May. Yeah, did she follow up with you after we told her that there were funding? Um, all she said was you know, she would pass on the word, I think, nothing okay. specific. Okay. Yeah, and you know, it's every vacation, so everyone is not in the office right now, but that'll, that'll, be, that'll be good. Yeah. Um, handicapped parking, Debbie and Kelly. No. May I make a suggestion? Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it anyway, Debbie, that um, somebody in your family, you can communicate to your family to write down what you're trying yeah. to tell us and send us an email or that way? With that, can you do that? Do you have a communication board? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it seems like there's somebody right there with her. Mm. Did Jeff? Uh, yeah, what's up? Yeah. Uh, nothing, new. nothing new. Nothing, nothing new? new? Nothing new. So, okay. 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 No, no news is good news. I don't need <laughs> yeah. But, um, see. We're waiting to hear from AAP. What? B. Oh, B. 
from wow. AAB. Yeah. AAB. Yep. Yep. On that on that issue we spoke about last meeting. Yep. Right. Yep. Mm hmm. So okay. All right. I think okay. I've got that for the minutes. No additional news and waiting to hear from AAB. Okay, That's right. Good. Okay. How about you, Kelly? Do you have anything from the police perspective? The, uh, I spoke with Lieutenant Kramer, um, also known as the new ticket guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mentioned to him about there was a volunteer that you guys mentioned that used to go around and take photos and of violators of the handicap. And he said there was one. And it was ended in 2007. They haven't had one since. Mm. Uh, no, it's, it's been more recently than that. Really? Yeah. Uh, the fellow's name is... Um, I forgot. Uh, Corey. No. No. Uh, <laughs> um, um, Andrew? I, yes, Andrew? it's an Andrew. It's an Andrew, Andrew something. Bellman? It, it did probably end three or four years ago, but... It, really? Yeah, he yeah. says 2007. No, because yeah. I because he was doing stuff when I joined. So Feldman. that would have Andrew been Andrew Feldman. Yeah, wow. Way to go, go, Jenny. Yeah, Ooh. Lieutenant Kramer has only been retired for a year and a half. So okay. he probably wasn't aware of it. Um, yeah. But also we have a new system, um, the traffic park enforcement that I'm also the um, supervisor of. They have a system now where I can get in and see where is it more active and handicapped? Where are we making the, you know, where are we getting oh. the violations and all that stuff? So that's in the work. So I'm kind of excited about that, you know? Oh, so there's nothing to show yet. No. Is that, that through the current vendor great. through comp, through Passport? Yes. Oh, good, okay. Mm -hmm. That must be a new feature. Yeah, they're updating everything. Oh, that's great. And I great. actually commented on them that they're handheld you get a lot of problems with the handhelds, you know, when you see the pocket enforcement, everything's uh -huh. digital now, you know, and those handhelds are actually cell phones. Yes. And, uh, oh. Yeah. So what, so when they take a picture, it's like sent automatically, but all the reports are um, going to be much better and easy access for me to get. Um, they're in the process of it right now. So I'm kind of excited to see that because I got to kind of check up on my pocket enforcement officers too. Like, where are they going? <laughs> you know, are they just mm. hanging around the heights or are they going on the streets or in the parking lots too? So it's going to be a, a great program when it's all set up. Great. Yeah, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kelly. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Manny, mm. you're muted. I think, did you wanted to say something? No, no, I just want to say, can you tell the ticket guy I drive around town sometimes, but with the handicap placard? I didn't catch. I, I don't understand what you're asking, Manny. No, no, I'm just kidding. I drive around town with the handicap placard. Oh. <laughs> well, as long as you have your handicap placard, Manny, okay. you should be fine. <laughs> Hey, call me the next time you're driving around town. I want to see this. <laughs> and then call me and I'll give you a ticket. <laughs> Should be fine. Okay. Anything else on parking? Oh, and Kelly, thanks for dropping off that um, booklet on, on my desk. I, uh, I actually... I've only been in town hall like once or twice in the past since we met last. Okay. Um, so wow. I didn't get a chance to review it, but she, but she did drop off the parking um, space. Was that for the MBTA parking? It was the MBTA and um, the, the parking lots. The parking lots, yeah. The, ball, like the, the businesses. They update that list every other year. Okay. So that's Thank the latest so one much. we have. Um, so it's a booklet. I, I, there's no electronic version of that, correct? Just a booklet. That's how the uh, town okay. does it. Yeah. So you who, would like a list of like where they all are? Is that well? Like who, who usually asks for? for that information? Who, like, what do they compile it? What is the use of that list? I think they it's it's done through the um, the town. Obviously, I think they do it just to keep up their numbers. If they have so many hundred spots of parking, they have to have so many for 
handicapped. So I think right. they do it for themselves to make sure there are, you know, there's no violations. Okay. But they do use it a lot because they print them every other year. So yeah, I mean, it sounds like somebody's mm -hmm. actively working on updating yes. that list. I'm just mm -hmm. wasn't sure like how we can how we can benefit from this information, you know, whether it will be posting it to our website or asking people, you know, or letting oh, people know that it's available. Like that's, that's a good was, idea. I, Cause it's a, cause I, you know, I had like so little time, but I was, I, I couldn't like, it, it, the booklet is not something that I can easily scan and- No, upload. it's maps. It's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's so I wasn't sure if it was like any other, but I guess we know that it's available. So if the question does yeah. come up, we so have it So that's a great resource. idea. I could probably, make up some list to say on Highland Ave down the square, right? Instead yeah. of just a map with highlighted spots, we can say, you know, at 1010 Highland Ave, there's a spot there or something like that. Is that yeah. easier, like a list? I mean, that'll be great, but that sounds like a massive undertaking. I'm sure I can find some time. <laughs> okay. I can that start it. How about that? I can start yeah. it. I can start with the square because the summertime's coming and there's the dining and the tent. I can do that and then you can post it anywhere you like or you know email mm -hmm. it out to whoever would like it. I can get started on that. It will be great to to just create more traffic on our website too. Yeah. You know, just okay. having the mm -hmm. website be a resource for people uh, around town. Great. I like a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Okay. Uh, Carol. Yes, um, so there is a new activity on the Needham Diversity Initiative uh, website. It's a diversity discussion book club. Um, the book is Don't Ask Me Where I'm From. Um, and the author, Jennifer DeLeon, will be joining um, everybody for the Zoom discussion, which is this coming Thursday um, at 7.30 p.m. And it's gonna be facilitated by Jen Shek Khan. So you can register if you are interested um, on the NDI website. So. That is what is the I name have. of the book? It's called Don't Ask Me Where I'm From. Mm. Have you it, read it? Um, I haven't, but I've heard a lot about it. It is on mm. my reading list. So. Well, I'm in trouble there because I asked everybody, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> well, it could be enlightening then. So. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? Uh, that's it for me. Okay. Dale? There is nothing to report on the downtown streetscape. And the Emergency Planning Committee uh, had a video conference last Monday. And it was a very, very short meeting, only about 20 minutes. There was nothing new to report. Uh, unfortunately, I was at work and my computer uh, kept losing the internet connection. So I got very sporadic uh, information from it, but there was nothing really exciting to report there. Uh, the next meeting is um, the first Monday in May, and we will have something more to report at that. And, uh, I think there was a, a quick update on how the vaccinations were going in Needham, which is going very well. And in May, it'll even be better. Okay. Boy, we zoomed through all our zoomed, uh, <laughs> no pun intended, through all our business. Babs wants to say something. Yeah, uh, do, are you doing new business? Yes. Okay. Well, this is new business, but it's also old business. Um, okay. I, uh, last, last fall, um, I, I talked about you know the, uh, the the accessibility walk that we uh, that we goes around the reservoir. There was um, a spot where a rope was missing, and um, I was wondering if we could get it fixed because it's, da it's dangerous. Is it missing, or was it designed that way? Um, I don't know. It looked like uh, the rope um, was broken off, maybe. I'll take a walk through it tomorrow. Um, the yep. town of Needham has an app. It's called C Click Fix. I was just going to say that. See, yep. Yeah. If you ever see an yeah. issue that needs to be fixed in town, something like that, or a, a red light that's out, it's an app and you report it and they have to respond and they have to let you know when they fix it. And it's yes. all tracked. 
Yeah. She's yeah. Like somebody could fall off. Yeah. Right. So I'll, take, I'll take a look at that tomorrow. Yeah. Tell me the name um, of the app again. C Click Fix. Okay. Every town has one. Yep. I've actually downloaded it and I've reported some issues, you know, with things blocking the sidewalk, you know, people mm -hmm. had a basketball hoop. Yep. So you could actually download it, Babs, and just attach that picture and send it in. Right. Uh, it works uh, like a charm. It's great. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, I have right. trouble walking on that uh, reservoir. I, I am holding this rope and walking away merrily and then suddenly there's a break and I don't know what oh. to do. Yeah. I'll All address right. that tomorrow. I'll take a walk. Okay. I, I, I just have this. B is in baby. I, I don't, I'm so sorry. B is in baby. What's the name of the B? Um, here, I'll, I can put it in the chat. It's, um, do we have a chat here? I guess we don't. I um, don't. I think we, uh, we disabled that for town meetings. Yeah. Okay. So it's C, um, oh, S C. E C. Wait, wait, wait. Go slow. Go, I'm sorry. I have to go slow with me. C is in cat. Um, no, C, C is in, in Sam. In, in, yeah. Oh, yeah. S oh, S, 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 S E. -E. S-E-E, yes. -E, -E, then what? Click, click. like click. clicking a button. Click. Now, and then fix. Fix. You just write that write that in and it will come up? Um, um, yeah, you, you can actually go to the C-Click Fix website and enter your, you know. Okay. I'll, I'll send, I'll I'll send it to you them. via email, Babs. I'll just send it to you via email. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I got it. C-Click Fix. Yeah, no, it's, it's everything from snow removal to broken signs uh, to a branch in the road to anything. Okay. They'll, they have. We talked about it. it last fall. We talked about it last fall, but I didn't push it because winter was coming, and I suspected the town mm -hmm. had more important things to do. But now we I just had this out. vague recollection that that was part of the design. And that we had a problem with it way back when, but maybe not. Well, no, I, I think you're right. I, that, that sounds familiar to me as well, Jeannie. There was something that we didn't like about it. And we were convinced maybe that it was going to work. But maybe it was that it was a rope and not a... Yeah, the rope, yeah. It was a rope, but not a wood railing. Maybe that was it. Because you'd think they'd have to have at least a rope, something there. Mm. Okay. But, but, um, I, I, but, but Kelly, if you go, it's by the turtle sign. The turtle. Okay, the turtle sign, sure. <laughs> yeah. Rain or shine, I will be there tomorrow. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and I think it's going to be rain. I was going to say, <laughs> I think you're going to have some rain tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe maybe Saturday. Saturday is a good day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, so we have a meeting on May 18th and uh, no expected guests or except maybe, and I guess it's possible we'll have someone present a grant from the schools. That's the only thing I can think of that might happen, but um, mm -hmm. otherwise enjoy this uh, improving weather. Yes. Excellent. Good good meeting. Very good meeting. Good seeing everybody. Take Thank care. you, everybody. Okay. Thank Bye. you. Take care. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye, Debbie. Bye.